Hey there traders, Jeff here from Easy Language Mastery. In today's video, we will unlock the power of the Money Flow Indicator, a powerful technical analysis tool available on the TradeStation platform. We'll discuss what it is and how to use it to generate trading signals using TradeStation's Easy Language programming language. Best of all, we will create a strategy to help us determine how to best use the Money Flow Indicator. As always, the strategy code I will demonstrate in this video is available as a free download. See the description of this video for more info. First, let's cover the basics of the Money Flow Indicator. It's a way to measure whether people buy or sell a stock or other investment by looking at the price and the volume traded in a certain period. If the price increases, the money flow is considered positive, but if the price goes down, it's negative. So this indicator takes into account both price and volume. Using both price and volume gives us a different perspective from price or volume alone. I don't want to go into this indicator's details because you can look that up. You can also reference the money flow article on my website. See the video description for a link. In short, the money flow indicator shows dramatic oscillations and can help us identify overbought and oversold conditions. That's right, it's an oscillator. But unlike many other oscillators, price and volume are factored into it. Traders can use the money flow indicator with other technical indicators and analysis tools to identify potential trading opportunities and confirm price trends. By monitoring changes in the money flow, traders can gain insight into the sentiment of other market participants and adjust their strategies accordingly. Now let's discuss how to use money flow to generate trading signals. Traditionally, you can use money flow values above 80 and below 20 as a trigger. For example, if the money flow falls below 80, you may take this as a short signal. If the money flow rises below 20, you may take this as a long signal. However, these are not all possibilities. If you think about it, you can have various combinations of entry signals based on the upper and lower thresholds of the money flow indicator. For example, for long trades, we could one buy when the indicator enters the overbought region, or two buy when the indicator leaves the overbought region, or three buy when the indicator crosses above the midpoint, 50. We could also introduce a midpoint value, 50, that can act as a trigger. That way we can buy or sell based on when the money flow indicator crosses above or below this midpoint value. So for any given market, how do we know which signals we should use? Should we buy when the indicator leaves the overbought region? or should we be buying when it crosses above the midline value? Because I know how to code in easy language, I can quickly test these possibilities. To test which triggers work best, I will use TradeStation's optimization features to iterate over different buy-sell signal combinations. I will code up all of these into a switch statement using easy language and then test them. This is what that switch statement looks like. I have three inputs. The first input, I buy type, determines which of the six entry triggers to open a new long trade. The second input, I sell type, determines which of the six exit triggers to sell short. Keep in mind this strategy is a stop and reverse strategy. That means it's always in the market, oscillating between a long and short. The final input, I look back, controls the look back period for the money flow calculation. Here is the easy language switch statement for the I buy type input. Here is the switch statement for the I sell type input. I will use TradeStation's optimization feature to optimize the six long and sell short triggers. This will generate 36 different possible combinations. So I will load my money flow testing strategy on heating oil. I will then test the 36 different possibilities. I will be using the default thresholds for the money flow indicator that is overbought is 80 and oversold is 20. The midline is 50. Here is what the results look like in the TradeStation optimization report. These are organized by perfect profit correlation. After running 36 tests, I found that the best performing settings for heating oil were buy type 6 and sell type 4. What does that mean? That means we want to open a long trade when the money flow crosses below the midline. I was not expecting that. We also want to sell short when the money flow crosses below the oversold level. Here is the equity curve produced by this strategy. Nice. Please note that this strategy is a testing strategy, not a complete trading system. It's not for live trading, but it can help you locate the best entry and exit triggers on the money flow indicator. To make it a complete strategy, you'll need to add a stop value, T 
test different filters, and then put the strategy through a validation process. Will other markets work with the money flow indicator? Can we find an even better performance? What about intraday bars? These are all great questions you can test. Remember, the code is available for you to download and use. To summarize, we explored the money flow indicator. This powerful technical analysis tool measures the strength of buying or selling pressure in a security. Considering price and volume data, the money flow indicator can help traders identify overbought and oversold conditions, providing valuable insights into market sentiment. We've also developed a testing strategy with various entry and exit triggers based on the money flow indicator and tested it on the heating oil futures contract. By optimizing input values and examining multiple buy-sell signal combinations, traders can find the best performing settings for their specific market. If you want to get the Easy Language Code and TradeStation workspace used in this video, remember to join the Easy Language Mastery Insider. It's free and you'll get access to all our code. Check the description below for details. And that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more trading insights and strategies. Check out my blog, where you will find many more trading examples like this. All the links are in the video description below. Do you have an indicator you want me to test? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for now. See you soon.